And we're back, part two of The Great Gatsby. And I left off talking about Daisy, because Zach asked, why did Daisy ultimately choose Tom over Gatsby? So Daisy is often a misunderstood character. One of you um, <coughs> called her a succubus, an evil succubus. That was Ryan Squires, by the way. Um, there's something that we here in the year 2021 miss about Daisy Buchanan. Uh, because most of us are raised, sort of told by our teachers and maybe parents, you can be whatever you want. This is America, kids. Daisy would have been raised wealthy from Kentucky, sort of the Midwest, but also the South. Daisy, born in the 1890s, would have been raised being taught trained, programmed for one thing, to marry a rich man from old money. Marry a rich man in an established, wealthy family. That is it. She would have been taught to hold a teacup the right way, to walk a certain way, to talk a certain way, maybe play the piano, to be uh, polite in all company. She would have been raised to marry a man like Tom. That's it. No college, no do you want to be a nurse, a teacher, whatever. No. Marry a man like Tom. Maybe you've seen the movie with that big boat. I don't want to ruin the ending, but there's a big ship that sinks at the end. I think it's called Titanic. Um, and you may remember the character Rose, played by Kate Winslet. Her mother was using her, had her dressed, had her programmed to marry that other guy. Cal, um, because he was rich and he was going to save the family fortune. Anyway, Daisy chooses Tom because Daisy was raised to be with a man like Tom. And it's very hard to overcome what we were raised to be. Um, that's why we always tend to wind up with people, friends, family, lovers, spouses who are from our same social and economic class. If you're born poor, you usually don't wind up marrying a rich person. If you're born rich, you don't marry a poor person. And there are a lot of reasons for that. But birds of a feather uh, flock together. Um, and there's a, just a, well, we'll talk more about that a little bit later. She chooses Tom because she was raised to be with a man like Tom. They are of the same class. And the book is telling us people stick to their class. Why was Nick so infatuated with Gatsby? Good question, Madison, because Gatsby still believes in the American dream. Okay, are you ready? This is going to be on the essay exam, huh? Huh? Essay exam. Fitzgerald, our author, wants us to think well of Jay Gatsby. Therefore, he has Nick think well of Jay Gadsby because Jay Gadsby believes in the green light, because Jay Gadsby is a dreamer. There are several places in the book, you getting this down, essay exam alert. There are several places in the book where Fitzgerald makes this very clear. Second page, right, before we even get into the meat of the story. Second page of the book, Nick, our narrator, writes, No, Gadsby turned out all right in the end. It was what preyed on Gadsby, what foul dust floated in the wake of his dreams. Second page, no, Gadsby turned out all right in the end, in case there was any question. Later in the book, um, Nick reunites his cousin Daisy with Gadsby, right? Number reason number two, we know that Nick likes Gadsby. Um, he reunites them. Nick spends all night talking with Gadsby, listening to Gadsby's true story after Myrtle is killed and Gadsby's life sort of isn't going the way he thinks it's going to go. Nick, that after spending that night uh, talking together, talking, Nick says to Gadsby, okay, this is big. Nick says to Gadsby as he walks across his lawn, going back to his little house, he says to Gadsby, they're a rotten crowd. You're worth the whole damn bunch put together. Goodbye, I enjoyed breakfast, Gadsby. His last words to Gadsby, 
They're a rotten crowd talking about Daisy and Tom and Jordan. You're worth the whole damn bunch put together. He tells him how highly he thinks of him. Nick tries to round up people, number five, Nick tries to round up people for Gadsby's funeral, right? Now, another one of you asked, why didn't people go to Gadsby's funeral? Is that sad? It is sad, but Gadsby didn't know anybody. Gadsby is really boring. I'm sure you've never done this, but have you ever had a friend who falls in love with somebody and, oh, she's awesome, oh, he's so great, and the friend becomes really boring for like three months because all they think about and talk about is that person? It happens. You've all seen it. It's going to happen to you if it hasn't already. Gatsby's really boring. He lives with one monomaniacal idea. I have to get Daisy. That makes for a boring person. So anyway, people don't come to Gatsby's funeral because he doesn't have friends. He doesn't talk to people at the party. They're just there and he's hoping Daisy gets swept in with the crowd some night, right? Um, so Gatsby's father, Nick, and one party goer, Owl Eyes, um, and the postmaster and the servants go to the funeral. Anyway, Nick does try to get people for the funeral, so that's reason number five. I, that's textual evidence number five for the essay exam that Gatsby does, in fact, um, that Nick um, does, in fact, think very highly of Gatsby. And last but not least, on the second to last page of the book, the second to last page, before Nick leaves town, he walks over to Gatsby's house to just think about him one last time. And there's some kid took a brick and wrote a dirty word on Gatsby's porch, on stone porch, and Nicky erases it with his foot. So even in death, um, even in Gatsby's death, Nick is taking care of him. So there is a nicely packaged little answer for you for the fourth essay exam. So you can thank Madison for asking that question. Uh, did Daisy tell Tom she was the one who hit Myrtle? I think she did. We don't know for sure, but there's a little scene at the end when Gadsby is kind of creepily peeking in the windows um, of Tom and Daisy's house that they're really close. They're sharing an ale and some chicken, and you could tell uh, that they were conspiring together. Um, so I think she did, but um, can't say for sure. Can't say for sure. Oh, it was Jason. Uh, who said, anyone else find it sad that Gatsby's funeral had so few visitors? It is sad, but it is sad, Jason. It is sad because it tells us he had so few friends in life. It tells us he lived with one idea to be with Daisy. And he hated his own parties. He only had them because of Daisy. Um, so it is sad, um, not that these people didn't go, but that he didn't know any well, anyone well enough to go, to go. Um, Ashley, why wasn't Jay in contact with his family? Well, we think it's only his father, and it kind of blows his cover, too. It blows his cover. Um, and Ashley, you also asked about the green light and the parties. Um, so I think we got all that covered. Ryan Squires. Interesting stuff. Why do you think Daisy hopes her daughter will be a beautiful fool? Daisy says, right when her daughter's born, it's almost the same thing that F. Scott Fitzgerald's wife who Daisy is based on, as Scott Fitzgerald's wife Zelda said when their child was born. I hope she'll be a beautiful fool because that's the best thing a girl can be. Daisy knows what men want. Daisy knows what the world wants an upper class young woman to be, a beautiful fool. That is all she's valued for. Um, she's a trophy and you've got Tom and you've got Gadsby in this fight over Daisy as a trophy. I'm not sure either one really cares or loves or understands what a relationship is. Um, she's no more than a car that they're bidding over in an auction. Um, so, yeah. And Daisy knows that that's what society expects of a beautiful, she want, of a rich young woman to be beautiful and to be a fool so she won't know better. Sad, Ryan. So is Daisy an evil succubus? I don't think so. Um, you know, she's 
she's nice to her cousin. Um, I mean, nobody in this book uh, really deserves a gold star for the way they live their lives, let's face it. Um, do you think Daisy ever really loved Gatsby? Yes, I do. Um, when she's in the bathtub with a soaked letter um, right before she's getting married to Tom, and she says, she's drunk, call the wedding off. She says, call the wedding off. And they slap her around, sober her up, and put the $300,000 string of pearls around her neck and get her down the aisle. I do think she loved Gatsby. I think she, she we know it, because she says it. She loved Tom too. She loved Tom too. So she did love Gatsby. Um, and of course they met because rich people don't usually meet poor people. They met because she doing a patriotic duty was dancing and entertaining the soldiers at the military base near her home. And Gatsby was there in the military. So he wasn't poor. He wasn't rich. He was neither. He was a military. He was a soldier. That's how they met. That's how they met. And Ryan, again, getting to the heart of love. Ryan, you're such a romantic. Why Was Gatsby foolish for loving Daisy? Yes. Well, maybe not at first, but he's really foolish for spending five years dreaming about Daisy, right? Five years dreaming about Daisy. That is foolish. Um, women are like buses, man. There's always another one coming. Men are like buses. There's always another one coming, right? Um, and he, instead he becomes obsessed with her, obsessed with her. Um, and that is foolish to say the least. That is foolish. So good, 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 Ryan. Good. Uh, Morgan, some good detail questions. Did Myrtle ever see it was Tom driving or did she think he killed her? I think Myrtle, boom, was dead in an instant. Um, and she, she, I don't think she ever knew who was driving or what hit her. She was killed instantly, to quote the novel. Good question, though. Was the ending, which felt somewhat empty, intentional? Yes. And I love the way you asked that. Um, that's Matt Morgan. Yes. Um, at the end of it, the American dream is empty. Um, you can't get what you wanted, and what you wanted is a, not even good to get. All right. Um, Daisy's bored. Tom is bored. He spends his time having affairs. He doesn't even have a job. He's so rich. Um, Daisy doesn't know what to do on the longest day of the year because she doesn't know what people plan. Someone else takes care of her child. Um, it is empty. These people lead empty lives. Um, these old money rich people. Um, so it does have that feeling at the end um, of emptiness at an empty house. Excellent question. Excellent question. Um, I think that hits on all of your questions and they were all very good. And it's a nice introduction uh, to the book. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple more uh, videos for you, um, hitting some of the highlights of the novel. And that's what I'll move on to next. Should I rename him? Cadsby. There's a good boy. Yes, you are the great Cadsby. You are, you are the great Cadsby. You are the great Cadsby. Yes, look at him. Look at how beautiful that guy is. That's a good kitty. That's a good kitty. The great Cadsby, everyone. The great Cadsby.